Hi, I'm Diane Dayton. We're at the 18th annual VF Outlet Berks Jazz Fest in Reading, Pennsylvania, just after sound check with guitars and saxes, catching up with Jeff Gola, guitarist. How are you? I'm great. Nice to see you, Diane. <laughs> it's good to see you, too. It's going to be a fun show tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it will be for us. No, it won't be for everybody here. <laughs> everybody it's going to be great. Yeah. Yes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now, how long have you been playing with the guitars and saxes? I, I now have seniority. I was Peter, wondering about that. Yeah, Peter White had it for a while, but he, so we're both here. We're both the senior members, but I, I actually have lost count. I think this is my 11th year. Okay. And it's, uh, I mean, I love doing it, so mm -hmm. I'm always happy yeah. when it, you know, when it comes about. Yeah, it's a fun tour. Yeah, very fun. Now, when you were younger, let's talk about how you got started doing what you do. When did you start playing guitar? I was eight. You were eight. So how I, did that happen? Well, I grew up in Copley, Ohio, mm -hmm. which I'm sure everybody's heard of. But it's outside Akron, Ohio. Okay. And when um, my dad took me to see the Grand Old Opry, they uh -huh. came on tour. They played, they, they used to tour around where they played the Akron Armory. Right. And I saw the, um, they had like a lot of the country artists of the day that were playing who were like in their sequin suits and mm -hmm. makeup and mm -hmm. pompadours. And I'm even at eight years old, I'm looking at this like, <laughs> wow, that is jive. I like that. No, <laughs> but, they, but there was a guitar player on yeah, stage yeah, with yeah, them yeah. who... You know, he was just playing guitar and having fun with the band, and yeah. he had dignity. I was like, <laughs> wow, that looks like fun. I want to do you that. You want to do I, that. And I started playing guitar, and that was, fortunately, I think I guess that was in 1963, 1964. And whatever it was, it was one year before the Beatles appeared on Ed Sullivan. Oh, okay. So it, when, when everybody was scrambling to play their C, G, and D chords, uh -huh. I had that mastered. I could play all three of those chords. And so I was, for my first time in my life, I was actually like ahead of the curve, of the and curve. I enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think I've read about your performance when you were 12 years old. <laughs> You had to have gone to my website, no, Jeff, jeffgolub.com. I That's did, for which you got paid no money. But what was the song, My Guitar's Too Big for Me? Or you know, who, that, that whole thing went on. That My mom put that Your on there. Your mother did. Without, without, any, without consulting me whatsoever, she, she got a hold of my webmaster and sent in this <laughs> photo of me at Arrowhead Elementary School. Oh, I, I was no. 10 or 12, I yeah, don't remember. Like that. Playing with this big Guy, a gigantic guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she, she put the quote in there. Said the song was called <laughs> My Guitar is Bigger Than Me. Yeah, that's it. She was that's right, it. But it was very funny. <laughs> my, mom, my mom took care of all of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when was your first real break into something that was more substantial than... Uh... <clears throat> well, I mean, it's all like mini breaks mm -hmm. that, you know, lead up to whatever. I right. guess my, my first international, like, recording gig was with... Billy Squire, mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, sure. 1980, it was, sure. I, I stepped kind of into, like when I, I had just moved to New York and I auditioned for his band, I, I wanted to play jazz, that's why I moved to New York, was mm -hmm. like, I was at Berkeley Music College right, and studying, right. and, and then he was looking for a guitar player and I was, I auditioned just because I knew how to play rock music from when I was a kid, I'd yeah. always done that, and, I, right. and he was going to Europe and I wanted to see Europe. And so um, I, I got the gig, and I went, we went to Europe, and mm -hmm. by the time, while we were there, we kept hearing about the momentum that was building here, and we came back, and we're playing, like, coliseums, like, it went, oh, wow. you know, things really went, took off, and I stayed with him for years, and I'm so glad that I did that, because mm -hmm. I wouldn't, it reminded me that I love rock guitar, okay. I, you know, I, yeah. I, 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 and, and I think that that helped me to develop my own style, and that mm -hmm. I studied jazz, and, mm -hmm. and I wanted to... You know, I wanted to play jazz. I wanted to be, the, you know, George Benson or Wes Montgomery or whatever. But, oh, sure. but since it reminded me how much I like Eric Clapton and Jimi Hendrix, then it helped me to, like, infuse that into the music that I do. And, yeah. you know, what, what comes out is Jeff Gullup. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of good stuff. You've played with a lot of artists all around the world. You've had some yeah. really interesting experiences, haven't you? Yes, more more than we can we're allowed to talk about on television. On television, yeah. I bet. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Anything that's really memorable that we can talk about? Um, well, you know, at this point, I am a child of the '60s, so the memory doesn't go doesn't back that go far. Back that yet. far. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Your current CD, Grand Central, is a great CD. Ah, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. What was the story behind that? How did you put that together? Well. M for the most part, um, I cut that in New York with, mm -hmm. with, with guys that say I live in New York City, mm -hmm. so I'm not far from here. And right. one thing I like about living in New York is there's a lot of clubs and 
people, all the musicians there get together and play in these clubs for free. It's kind of mm -hmm. like busman's holiday. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, at night when uh -huh. somebody isn't telling them what to play on the session or what to mm -hmm. do, people just get together and jam. And, you know, it's a small enough community mm -hmm. that everybody does that. And I wanted to try to capture some of that on tape because there's so much okay. good music that comes yeah. out of that. So I got together with some of the guys that that typically frequent these clubs and we mm -hmm. you know we went in and some of the stuff we didn't even know we were doing until we were doing it like there's a <laughs> version of sly stones if you want me to stay that's oh. on there that i think is i think that's the most yeah. uh, best representation of what i wanted to do with this record because okay. we didn't know that nobody knew the song we just mm -hmm. finished one of those rare times in the studio where we actually finished more than we had put out to do and we had mm. some extra time and mm -hmm. i said no nah, you guys ever hear this song? I said, I wouldn't mind trying to, you know, come up with a version of it. And yeah. the drummer, Sean Pelton, said, well, can they deliver uh, Irish whiskey to the studio? <laughs> 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 so this is New York City. We get anything we yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it, right, it, you know, right. the, the session continued. And right. I say we didn't right. really... I, it, uh -huh. it was just all of us in a circle, and mm -hmm. we didn't have an arrangement. It uh, said, okay, well... We'll, we'll go to the bridge when I put my finger out. You know, you can't see all of that on the tape, right. but it's all done by hand yeah. signals and, yeah. and you know, and not, not like written paper. Sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I were to ask you what's really important, Jeff, really important to you as a person in life or in music, any way you want to take this, what would you say? Oh. What is it about? I'm going to say the, the same corny thing that you hear from everybody who has a family. It's, it's family. But you it's know. true, Yes, right? it is true. I mean, I, I've got... Two, uh, two sons, five and seven, mm -hmm. and, and a wife to go along with them. Yeah. And, and I, you know, I had never thought I would be the guy saying that, because mm -hmm. I, I was never a family man, but now I'm a family man. I yeah. love it, you know. Yeah. And, and also I think it's important to um, enjoy what you do for, I mean, it's, mm -hmm. I should mm -hmm. say important. I mean, it's just great. It's, a, it's such a pleasure and a privilege to, to be able, I mean, I love playing guitar and yeah. to, to have somebody, I, I have to pinch myself every time somebody pays me to play guitar. <laughs> I'd be playing anyway, but it's nice that somebody yeah, pays yeah, me because yeah. then I don't have to do something else. Well, there you go. Well, when you're not playing guitar, and I know it can't be 24-7, although sometimes it's probably mm. pretty close, um, what are you doing? How do you like to spend your time? Well, I'd say I do, I, I spend as much time with my family as I can because I'm on tour mm -hmm. quite a bit, and I want them to... Yeah, you know, I don't want them to grow up not knowing me. Yeah. So I do stuff like take the kids to school, take, take you know, <laughs> Real all the practical stuff. everyday yeah. things, right? Take the kids to Taekwondo and all those kind of <laughs> like things. But you know, my my wife and I do like to go yeah. to dinner when we can get a a babysitter uh -huh. and go go to the movies. Yeah. You know, the typical type of thing. Yeah. Also, we uh, we have a summer home in Bridgehampton on mm. Long Island. So summers, it's a lot of going to the beach. Oh, fun. Yeah. Fun. Go hang out. Well, thank you so much for taking time. Oh, just well, to, great to see you, Diane. You know, thank just you. Just to share about who you are, what makes you tick. <laughs> All right. Well, please, uh, will this be, uh, will people be seeing this before the show? No, they'll be seeing it after the show. Well, I hope you enjoy the show as much as we did. And what we're going to do, we're going to send you to the website, too. And the website is? JeffGolub.com. Okay, and we'll find all kinds of things there about you. More. Yeah, you'll see pictures of my mom's put up there. <laughs> <Yeah>. Yes. <it's laughs> and you can get, uh, you can find out about all over 10 CDs. You're also working on another one yes, that'll yes. come out sometime. And, and also, uh, write yeah. me at the website, because I, I, yeah, I, 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 yes, I, I read it. You know, I, I was, Bob James was the one who hit me to that. He just said, you know, if somebody takes the time to write you, you can take the time to read it and answer them personally. It's not, and, and, and it's really made, made it a lot more fun to get to know everybody, and, you yeah. know, even if it's just over the Internet. But, yes, please write in and say hi. You ask for it. We're going to yeah. do it. <laughs> Jeff Golub, and we're coming to you from the Burks Jazz Fest in Reading, Pennsylvania.